to the second part of our discussion of two pass macro preprocessor in python in the first part we had implemented uh, the first pass <laughs> so in this we had an intermediate code file our mdt and mnt setup so now what do we have to do we have to replace the calls of macros in our ic that is intermediate code with the code in mdt so this thing okay we need to replace it over here and these hashtags we have to replace it using this okay whatever is mentioned we have to replace it using that so that is our part four part number two so let's do that so first thing we'll do is we'll scan our ic okay we'll scan our ic so once ic writing is done we can close the ic in the first part what i'm doing is i am making changes in my first part programming that way it will be easier for me so i'll close my ic and then open my ic in read mode so i see dot text in read mode i'm opening it and yeah even i need to close these particular files mnt mdt and i'll open them also in read mode because now we don't have to write anything we just need the output the final output now I've opened these three files in read mode after closing them. Now we'll we'll have to read out the contents of I C M N T M D T in lists. So our task will be easier. So let's read them out. Um, I'll read them out in the same variable. That way it will be easier for me. So I C is equal to I see dot read lines and again do the same thing for them in TMDT. Or maybe I'll, I'll name it some other variable. So once you've read it, you can happily close all of this. So we'll close this again. And now the final file will be an output.txt file. We'll create it and open it for reading, sorry, writing purposes. So our output, final output of pass 2 open it for writing only don't open it for reading that's it our file is open now and now what we'll do we'll scan again in our okay, in our ic so yeah for i in ic ic thing is stored in i okay so i'll rename this this is line again so the line in my IC what I'll do is I'll read so yeah I'm reading now these lines I'm reading and I'll split each and every line and check if my first part is there in my MNT so let's do it I'll split my line Let's call it temp is equal to string of line dot split by spaces. So just normal split of us and check in MNT. So we need to loop through the MNT for item 2 in MNT. MNT variable is n over here. So now for this. 
if r oh yeah we'll split it first so t t is equal to string of i2 dot split by spaces so if r t of 0 the first part this first part is equal to is equal to temp of 0 meaning there is a match we will we'll have a pointer mdtp uh, yeah we have already defined it above so we need not define it again we will just use it mdtp is equal to int of t of 1 t of 1 converted into string meaning t of 1 is this second part we will take it as an integer and yeah that's our location in mdt now we will fetch the lines from mdt now once this is done we could just break out of our loop we don't need to continuously loop we found it out now we have the mdt with us mdtp mdpt okay it's mdpt now in mdt we'll read from mdt so for uh, I do in range MDPT now if MDPT is 1 1 so we'll begin from uh, we'll begin scanning from the first part that is 0th position so that's MDPT minus 1 ok minus 1 comma ok then of mnt we, mdt we could do for the in this range ok i will first give if our mdt of mdt of i2 is the oh, we'll we'll store it for somewhere we'll have a string let's name it st is equal to no need of this condition Wait, we'll first try printing this out to check whether what are we getting. MDT of I. Let's print this. Sixty-seven. Oh yeah, len of D. Our variable has changed. M. M again okay we are getting a similar thing <coughs> the thing is going on next line so we need to trim our string from the end so let's trim it st is equal to md m of i2 okay slice our string str Let's slice it from 0 to its length minus 1. Minus 1. And let's print the st. Yes, it's not going on the next line. So we have our strings done. Now in this string, 
what we'll do is the first line the first line we don't need it the first line is already available over here So have a flag to keep track. Because we need to know whether we have encountered the beginning of any macro or not. So I'll initialize my flag as one. So till here I know whether I have found out any particular macro or not. Now if my flag is equal to equal to one then i will form a new ala using this so let's form a new ala mm, i have it in temp of two right temp of one sorry what i'll do is i'll convert it into a string and split it by commas because again this part is everything is separated by commas you need to split it by commas and we'll store it in some list okay so that's our ala created now We have our MDT in place. Sorry, we have our <laughs> MNT thing done. We have read the IC, created an ALA. Now we'll go to the MDT. So you can stop over here. Now we'll go to the MDT and read out these lines. Okay, these three lines we'll read out. So we will read entire thing but while printing only we will print these lines so yeah I have my string with me I will increment my flag over here the same thing I did in the first part for my convenience I am keeping a track of flag and if my flag equal to, equal to Sorry, if it is greater than 1, then I will go to the, go to my MDT and get the strings out of it. And yeah, if I encounter, if my ST is equal to is equal to M end, I can happily break the loop. I don't need more strings in my thing. I will have another list for my convenience. There is another list and I am appending this in my list. So list dot append these strings. Okay. If it's M and break, else append it to my list. So list dot append st my string. So by now I have these things with me when I encounter this call, and I have my a live. So now what I'll do, I'll loop over this list now for item 
in my list for each and every item I'll scan it now uh, this was the first thing right so yeah I don't need to worry about the first line coming into picture I'll only have these lines with me in my list and I, I won't even have a mend with me because I'm breaking by doing that so I only have these three lines with me right now so I will split again temp is equal to item string of item dot split So I have these two, uh, two things separately. Now I'll what I'll do is I'll yeah. If flag is this, I'll I'll first mention an else part too, so it won't get any more confusing. If there's no uh, macro encountered then I am writing it to my output file what am I writing the line is it named the line yes I am writing my line as it is in the output file now again I will go over here I will again write to my output temp of 0 give a space output dot write and then I will look for these so when so I will again do temp equal to str of temp of 1 dot split now split by commas so I'll have now this in my temp hashtag 2 hashtag 0 yeah now I will find these things from my ALA so I will have to loop over my ALA for i in range of length of my ALA if I loop over my my temporary list and for each and every item in that list I will check whether it is there in my ALA so for in ALA is equal to is equal to hashtag plus string of i if it is the case then we'll write to temp uh, we'll directly write to our output file output dot write uh, a lay of a lay of what? A lay of I, right? And give a comma. Uh, 
और और व्हील की पर बफर बफर स्ट्रिंग इज इक्वल टू एंड व्हील राइट इट टू बफर बफर डॉट अपेंड सो वी कैन रिमूव द एक्स्ट्रा कॉमाज आफ्टर वर्ड आई डू दिस सो आई विल डू बफर प्लस इक्वल टू दिस इज अ स्ट्रिंग ना yes so once my buffer is written after all of this i'll write to my output buffer buffer and slice it from 0 to length of buffer minus 1 so i get rid of the last character that is extra commas i'll get rid of Let's let's try running this and printing our buffer. What do we get? Then maybe we could changes. Uh, we could make changes if required. If anything's going wrong. Mm hmm. Line seventy six. Hmm. Uh, what is the instance of my output file? It is f. Okay. F dot right. Okay, so yeah, there is certain thing. There are certain things in my buffer. but it's not working very well it is not replacing it with the contents of the ala so before all of this uh, this let's just print our ala once where are we making changes to our ala mm. is the first time that we encounter oh this needs to be ala let's see it now Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if uh, our output is correct or not. Mm hmm. There is some problem in our output, but I'll I'll try solving it. And one more thing, after. Each and every write now. You have to write slash n to your file, so we can we can get everything on new lines. Let's see whether it is correct. What we wanted read n one n two up till here it is correct. Then for this we want move r. Okay. I'll try to debug it. Okay, so while we encounter M N, we need to turn off our flag, and let's try it again. Mm -mm -mm. Our I C is still not correct. What should have been the output? Move R hashtag to hashtag zero, so that's move R n one n two. Okay, so the problem was that uh, this entire thing needs uh, needs to be in continuation, so you need not give an else if over here, elif over here. so directly keep it as if condition only and let it proceed so here uh, the output which i am getting is correct just that i am getting the names over here i'll need to remove that and also as we had only two arguments for decrement two arguments but in our definition there are three so we need to create uh, an ala again and the second ala will have 
the uh, values from the MDT and the first ALA will have values from IC then we will compare both the ALAs and then we will make a fresh ALA and allot these numbers so then it will work and also we need to remove the names over here and get rid of these things the parts before equal to so we'll do that right now so wherever we were writing we were writing over here over here we'll split our this string ala let's name it something <laughs> dot split by equal to's and we will print string of h of 0 so that should do the work for the equal to case let's see okay okay so we need to mention the first one the later part of after equal to so if length length of h equal to equal to 2 then we'll go for this else we'll go for this let's see yes c register is getting printed now only over here we'll create an alia again from mdt and then we'll replace all hashtag twos with B register. So where was our ALA? We were creating ALA over here, right? Wait. print this out to see what we are doing over here and then we can make changes over there okay so we are getting our thing over here hmm. so what i'll do is i'll For most part, our micro preprocessor is working fine. Oh yeah, we need to remove the name too. Um, where are we writing though? We are writing over here, right? So. Yeah, we'll write this only if our flag is zero. Then we'll write this. Let's see. Temp of zero we were writing. Let's try printing flag. What's our flag over here? 
obviously if we are in this stage our flag should not be zero it should be something greater than zero let's see now still zero okay meaning we have encountered a mend over here I'll remove this flag from here and if flag is equal to is equal to zero is not equal to zero no is zero then we'll print and after this step I'll reinitialize my flag to zero let's try this way Or else we'll bring the flag inside, then we won't have any issue with that. Let's see. See, in this loop, we are basically printing all MDT contents. That's why increment is also getting printed. So instead of that, we'll uh, run in range, range of this list's length and we'll output this only when our temp is greater than zero. greater than zero and this will be list of item right So this works all right if all our uh, parameters are matching both ways otherwise we'll have to make changes in that. So I guess this is enough for basic macro preprocessor. I'll make another video the third part where, we, where we'll have two ALAs we'll compare them okay and then create a new way so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching